Okay, hi. This is Makisha. Okay, let's pass some body street. And I have a soap here for you that I just finished. It's a glycerine soap. I'm into glycerine soaps now. And um, I didn't know how to design this. Oh my gosh, this is scented red monkey farts. And I love the fruity smell. I'm going to be calling this. I, th I don't want to use the whole word Trinidad, but I want to use like, um, I wanted to use, to call it Trinidad Fruit Bunch. <coughs> but I don't want to use the whole country name in the soap. So I might call it Trini Fruit Bunch or TNT Fruit Bunch or something of that nature. Because if you all know monkey farts, it's fruity. It's definitely a fruit bunch. So I love that. <coughs> and, um... I'm going to cut it in my little metal box here. Let's see what we get. I've been cutting my glycerin soaps and I'm crinkled. I don't know if I want to really be doing that. So that's it. I think it's fabulous. Nothing big and fancy dancy. Well, that probably is big and fancy dancy. The last of the last ones I did, the TNT chocolate almond soap, it was too big for a glycerin soap that was weighing 5.5, 5.8. I don't know why my soaps have to be so heavy and so big. And if you call a bigger price, they don't want to pay, so you need a nice reasonable price. I think this is fabulous. My friend Lexi was actually here and she decided that this is the way we should design this. So I'm going to give props to Lexi. This is a beautiful design. Oh my gosh. And it is so fruity. It is really, really well fruity and nice. I like it. I hope my customers here love it. Hmm. Gosh. Fabulous. Fabulous, that's fantastic smell. Um, I like the crinkle cut to be honest, but I think I need to sort of cut these other than crinkle because then when I shrink wrap it, it still have the grooves in the shrink wrap and that is sweating just a little bit. I don't want to be selling a sweaty soap. Because these are soaps, when you're done with them, you need to, when you're done make them, you need to practically put them away one time. I don't have much colorants, because this is all the colorants I have for soap. Yeah, so I'm like, that's it, one, two, three, four, five, five colors, six on the white. I said I use all the colors I got. When I look, I don't have much. I don't have much at all. So that's how nice it came out. Isn't that beautiful? It smells fantastic. It smells fantastic. These are one inch one inch thick slices. Yeah. And so it feels warm. It smells really nice. It smells really, really nice. Okay, I got a little piece remaining. Oh gosh, this is. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah. So I had to show you guys that. I myself could not wait to see how it came out. This is beautiful. Oh gosh, I love the smell. I've never used that monkey farts fragrance before. I heard people on YouTube ranting and raving about it. So I decided I had to do it, check it out for myself. So this is the soaps here, people. It's not fabulous. It's really Caribbean. When you hear fruit punch, you hear many different fruits. Many different fruits say many different colors. Gosh, start off with the green, ended with the green. Two, four, six, eight, nine. Yeah, now we get one nine bar. This is really 
so I can get a picture. All right, I just had to get a picture of that. Okay, so as I said before, I do my melt and pour soap from scratch. Melt and pour is new for me this year. Um, I was a hot process girl. Then I switched from hot process to make sure and do more cold process as I got better scents so I can get better designs. With that said, <coughs> I found the glycerin recipe that I was doing is a bit drying because if you wash your hands and it's drying it's not good so what i did to combat that and i find it's much better now is that like for this recipe i'll put like a tablespoon of shea butter a tablespoon of olive oil when i when i melt the base i will add different little oils to it i even add a bit of kylin clay to it so it's, it's not just a melt and pour and add some color and add some fragrance and i'm done to make it rich so no matter what bar you buy it's very moisturizing and won't dry your skin i've added extra little goodies to make sure i get that from it if you guys know what i'm trying to say sometimes i'm a loss for words um like in this one because of ooh, all the fruitiness i added a bit of coconut cream so that's a plus coconut cream is great for many things i added a bit of um the shea butter i add some aloe vera gel i added a bit of olive oil so yeah with all of that it helps it it helps it and um i think it's much better from the first set i did which i do not like i should bring that for you that was a terrible soap Okay, sorry, I ran away to bring this. So this is the first one I did. So what we have down below is I used the black, um, oh my gosh, charcoal. I do some turmeric, you know, I like my natural colorant. And all the shreds you're seeing is actually cold process shreds that I put into the glycerin there. And then I did the clear base more or less to the top. A slightly mix and that's easy and I didn't like how this came out I don't think it came out pretty at least not as fine as these guys and um, so this is my third successful batch this one is a disaster I'm gonna give these away and um, I'm gonna give away some of them with orders let my mom and family try some it's only nine bars or um, my friend Lexi was telling me sell them off cheap here for like a dollar or two dollars at the next craft event I do so I can do that anyway back to these bars oh boy these gorgeous smelling babies oh and um, I need to order a bottle of that monkey fats for myself because that is a scent I should keep especially as I'm making a Trinidad line now that's what I'm doing from the Caribbean I have too much international scents like vanilla is a french thing and you know so on and so on i want to use the fruits and different stuff from here and make something more local um or something that says trinidad if you understand what i mean something more culturized anyway guys enough of that see my sexy sexy pretty pretty soap this is the lovely oh good i never thought it would have come out so good they are so, so gorgeous. Bye, guys. Bye-bye.